Welcome to the Jamoti Podcast. We are all surrounded by amazing coaches and leaders. So let's get an inside look at not just what they do, but how they do what they do. After all, becoming the best versions of ourselves is Jamoti, just a matter of doing it. Just another great segue, man. You're awesome at this. Uh, you, you get to go. You get to go to a lot of clinics and 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 listen to great coaches. What's one quality that you see that great leaders have in common? Um, I think just their accountability. They're they're they do well of holding others accountable and what their expectations are. You know, and and I know that's a. I, I think this last convention at the NABC, we talked about like there was a tweet out about the you know. I know one of the questions also had on there was culture, and, and I couldn't select it because, like, if you look back at all the inner job, uh, one statement was winning press conference, uh, winning press conferences, right? And if you go back and you find that tweet that I uh, retweeted, you know, every coach has started out is like, we're going to create a culture, you know, and it's like, like all the buzz. We're going to play fast. We're going to play, play fast. fast. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We're going to do things the right way, you, yeah. you know, like all these things. Nobody ever starts out with listen. Uh, our culture here is going to be average. Uh, we're gonna <laughs> right. we're gonna walk the ball up the floor, and I don't really care if we win. Yeah, that's right. not going to work. Yeah. But uh, you know, I think. I, but I, all in all, I think when guys and, and I say accountability for their players, for their staff, you know, and and I think a lot of times they're also um, true visionaries of what they're wanting to have. You know, like I. I, I can say, like, I've talked to guys that go, like, I know my weaknesses as a coach, man. Like, I feel like I'll have some great ideas, but, like, me being able to go always go in and implement them and having everything done on the backside is a struggle of mine. But if we sit down, I'd be like, man, we need to do this. This is how we're going to set up this whole system, and we're going to do this. You know, and I'm like, hey, man, who's going to be able to write all this out for me and, like, give me the true plan <laughs> of how we're going to get there, you know? and You're an ideas man. You're an ideas yeah, man. I, I mean, and, I mean, I, I – I like that, you know, but I can say like on the backside, like, you know, I've got one guy that works with me now, Devon English, and, and he's great about, you know, he's always like, well, why? Like, how are you going to do it? What are we going to get? You know, and you're like, no, man, I right now I just have this. This is what we're going to do, you know? Yeah. <laughs> like, and, um, and so, but I think it's being able to outline, I think, great leaders of, of having each person, their team, and being accountable and holding that over them of like what their role is, what their jobs are, what the expectations are. And, and then just being able to really say like, like, are you really holding them accountable to doing that job? You know? And I think, cause that's where sometimes people don't want to be that guy, right? Like we don't want to be the ones to go back and say like, well, I told you if you miss two practices on excuse that like you're out of the program. Right. Cause sometimes we, we, we now go like, well, which guy was it? You, you know what I mean? We're yeah. going to, we're going to get, but sometimes you got to set the example with somebody. Then everybody knows like, no, that's, that's being that accountable, you know? And um, we had a kid one year at Monterey that as a junior, we kicked him out of the program. Um, and, but we laid out for him, like, you can come back, but you're getting kicked out because of this. And it helped set the whole, I, I feel like that's, that was my first year there. And that helped everybody know, like, we're not going to just deal with anything, you know, because I remember, I had certain admin that were like, you need to keep these guys because they're going to help you win. You know what I mean? Like they were trying to tell you. And I was like, no, like right now it's like we got to set up what, what our standards are and, and what we're going to do. Anyway, that kid went out, but then he came back and he did everything that we'd asked him that, you know, said if you complete these tasks and you have this, like you can come back out. Well, and then he started every game for us as a senior except for two games. Um, but he needed that. You know, he didn't he, – he was hungry – for somebody to hold him accountable, yeah. you know, everybody else has just been letting him slide and let him slide, you know, and I think, I think, um, you know, coaches got to hold everybody accountable, um, you know, and, and that is a hard part. I think sometimes as a head coach is holding your staff and your, your players, you, you know, I mean, you're, you got so many um, moving pieces of how do we really do that, Um but I think just seeing guys that, you know, like I think even like seeing where people talked about Jay Wright, you know, like um, and and Tom Penders, like that people talking about if anybody goes off one foot with those guys, like that's what would like drive them crazy. You know what I mean? Like we that that's what why you played off two feet at Villanova was Jay Wright was going to 
you know, that's what made him lose it in rough practice. Yeah. You know, more than maybe just turning the ball over is like going like you, you went off one foot, like you should have landed on, you should have been on two, you should have been grounded, you should have been solid, you, you know what I mean? But, um, but everybody knew, right? Like his whole program knew that's, that's an expectation and you're going to be held accountable to do that, you know, versus like, it's just a thought, like it wasn't a thought. It's like, no, this is what we're going to do. Yeah. And they made him. That's a great point though, that, that discipline or accountability, you know, it's not, it's not just for, like you made a comment, like everybody else needed to see that you were willing to, to stand up for, for what you believed in. And, and so it helped those players that remained in your program, but that discipline and that accountability, it also helps the one that you're disciplining at the time. Like that right. kid, if, if he, let's just say he was to get away with what he was doing, you know, and not ever be uh, forced to learn lessons. Like I'm pretty sure him getting kicked off at that time, you know, obviously it worked out well for him because he was able to uh, perform what he needed to do and get back into the great. But that that's a lesson that's going to teach him. Uh, that's going to help him later on in life is that, man, I, I can screw up enough to where something I really love or enjoy can be taken away. Like that's an important lesson. So I think it's it really, it, we forget sometimes that you're disciplining for both of those groups. Yes, and and I think it's the same thing as like I, I can't remember. If I heard one of uh, on here one of your talks is is you know people talking about rules and in, in their teams, you know, and I think that's one thing that that it's also to me it's the same way, right? Like I don't I don't feel like we have a lot of rules in place for guys. Um, you know, it's always first like to me it's like you're representing the name on your back, name across your chest, and then we represent um, you know Christ. Um, and anytime you're doing something that disappoints one of those, then like we got a problem, you know. But but you have to be careful of like for high school guys, coaches especially. If we say, well, if you go to ISS, like I'm kicking you out of the program. Well, like yeah. you may you may have ISS because you had 37 tardies. You, you know what I mean? Yeah. Or or you 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 were cussing out a teacher. Well, like I can't say I you know I mean like we're gonna help you learn how to be somewhere on time versus how we're going to you know and also how we treat others you know so it's kind of hard to say like these rules um or what we're going to do but it's it's kind of more of like no like um i, I think it's kind of the biggest thing is like you know you got to respect yourself your team you know and your coaches and then um you know and and to me also then like part of our rules is just kind of saying like you know we're always going to have you know you got to have a good work ethic you, you know what i mean so it's just kind of like well, what's it's what's standards rules? It's yeah, standards well, over rules. Yeah. Yes, because at the end of the day, it's like, well, if you break this rule, what are you going to do with this kid? And it's like, well, like like all of us, right, even being a parent, well, we normally have discipline involved. <laughs> you yeah, know, so it's yeah. like we can't get rid of our kids. Like, you, you know what I mean? So it's like we've got to have discipline. We're going to try to hang on to them as long as we can. You know what I mean? So it's how do we discipline them within our program? Um, but then there are sometimes they go like, yeah, we've got to cut ties here to have the lesson be learned um but you can come back you, you know yeah. I, mean, I love that i love that you leave the door open for them because i think that's cool i mean man, in my own life my, my personal walk if if that if that door would have been shut for me uh by by so many people uh by god i mean I, then i i just be in a different place so i i do believe that um that we need to continue to give second chances yeah. But but also while maintaining and protecting, you know, the integrity of yourself, the integrity of your program, and and, and helping those other players along too, because you keep uh, having a failure, let them come back. Having a failure, let them come back. that also erodes the other side of it as well. I think Coach K is the gold standard for 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 so many things, but when he says it, he doesn't really have rules because uh, he doesn't want to be put in a box, um, I think that's a good way to look at it. Yes, definitely. Thank you for checking out today's episode. Please take a moment to subscribe to this podcast, share it with your fellow coaches, and find us on social media for what's coming up next on the Jamoti Podcast. It's just a matter of doing it.